let's review this then. It's the Hoover H Wash 300 Plus with an inverter and active steam functions with an eight kilogram load and a mystery, but probably in a energy rating on the modern scale. If you're looking at it and going, wait a minute, that's not a Hoover. You're right, it's not a Hoover made by candy. This is a hair made, uh, this is a hair made Hoover. Um, effectively, this was one of the very first models manufactured by hair for Hoover, or having the Hoover brand logo on it. And I think these first appeared on AO.com. But you can also correct me on that down below. Thing is, that now, Haya really have started taking off all the candy made machines. Uh, they're simply, they're going, it's all stock, it's gone, and they are being replaced with these. Um, this has the inverter. The upper models have a direct drive. Now that is one key thing to keep in mind. So, the one key difference is, apart from the fact that the inverter has a belt, as per normal, it's quiet enough, but it's got a belt, the direct drive balances the load or simply isn't anywhere near as fussy as the inverter versions. So, the one downside with this machine, already from the off, is how long it takes to balance a load. You know, so uh, the problem is that the timings for this machine don't take into account any time whatsoever to balance the load. So if it's unbalanced once, even just once, it's going to add time on. Also, it doesn't include time for filling either. A little bit, just a little bit though. Not too much, but... Right, so to open the door, there's no door handle. Just simply put your hand around here somewhere in this recess and just pull towards you. So there we got our ratings plate with all the relevant information on. Um, this machine itself has, I think, yeah, 1900 watt max. So I think it's got an 1800 watt heater, roughly, for, and then 100 watts for the motor. That's pretty good going, and it shows when it's heating. So the model number is the RH3W48HMCB-80. Yeah, too many numbers, too many letters. This is our drum as well. I love this design actually. It's like a washboard style effect. It even it has actual ripples within the drum. So yeah, as your washing is going about, that helps with aid of washing. Turn the machine on, you press the on off button here. There's a positive clunk. It feels very cheap. Look, you can actually push the button to one side or the other. And you do have to push and slightly hold it, a simple Tap won't necessarily bring it on. Anyway, it will automatically always go to Eco 4060 automatically first. But before we explore that, what we're going to do is actually go all the way over to here. This is the cotton hygiene cycle. Max load for this 8 kilo model. Now we're going to do this for the, both the 8 and the 9 kilo. Uh, max load for the 8 kilo is half, 4 kilo for the 9 kilo is 4.5 kilo. Um, it washes at 60 or 90, that's it. Preset spin is 1000 RPM. If you, it also has the steam function available. If you press it, no matter what cycle steam is available on, it will automatically default to the highest temperature, even if that highest temperature is only 40. And then we've got the extra rinse button, and we can add up to three extra rinses. So P1 is one rinse, P2 is two rinses, and P3 is three extra rinses. So using the hygiene cycle, this will um, give you 99.9% .9 bacterial 
results at 60 and at 90. We'll also get rid of all viruses as well. Then we've got the wool program. Max load is two kilos of uh, wool items. Presets at 20 and you can't go above it. Uh, turning off the temperature goes to cold. Max spin is 400 and again turning that off goes to no spin. Also no steam, but you can add on extra rinse. Oh, that's odd. You can add on one extra rinse. Then we got delicates. Uh, max load of two kilo. Again, this is a gentle wash for delicate items. Presets at 400, but that can be increased. Uh, temperature presets at 20, but that can also be increased. You can add steam if you want, and you can add one extra rinse. Then we got synthetics. Max load is, of course, a half, so four kilo for this, four and a half for the nine kilo variant. Presets at 40, but again, this can go up to 60, being a synthetic cycle. Again, we've got extra rinses that can be added on. And we've got steam. Uh, now, this has uh, auto comes up, so no time is displayed. What it does at the start of the cycle is weigh the load by spinning it around. To give you a kind of idea, um, Synthetic 60 with a set of bedding, which I've got in right now, will take around two hours. So not too bad, I suppose. Two hours, maybe two and a bit. Then we've got the 15 minute cycle, which will um, wash a full load according to the manual. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Uh, it presets at 20 degrees. You can have cold, of course, but you push it and get 40 degrees. So that's not bad. And spin speed presets at 1000, but you can have 1400. 1400 on a quick wash. That's not bad. No steam, but you can add on extra rinses as well. Three. Hmm. So we can add on two extra rinses. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Then we've got the 59 minute fast wash, which only takes two kilo, according to manual. Yeah, see the problem there? I think that it's a bit mislabeled in the manual. It's supposed to be the opposite way around. So that will take two kilo, not eight. And this one will take eight kilo, not two. Eight kilo, max temperature of 40. A little bit of a disappointment because it doesn't go to 60. It would have been nice to hit and go to 60 for an extra 10 minutes or so. But hey ho, never mind. Uh, presets at 1,000. Sounds disappointing, but you can increase the spin. So we can go to 1400. Of course, that adds on eight few more minutes, so therefore it's no longer a 50 min 59 minute cycle. We can have steam as well, and we can have extra rinses as well, up to three. No, not bad overall. Then we've got the Eco 40 60 cycle. Um, obviously, it washes at 40 degrees. This gives us our energy rating of an A. It will also spin a max spin of 1400. They're not lit because Haya and Media have this wet thing of doing this, of just not really lighting them. You can't change anything anyway. You can't have steam it and you can't have extra rinse. Obviously has auto load detect, so it will adjust accordingly according to the size and use less water and usually a lower temperature with the smaller load. Then we got cotton 20 degrees, the eco cycle 20. Um, yeah, 20 degrees, nine, eight, nine kilo, how it should be, unlike the Hoover Hit 300 Lite that only washes like two and a half. Yeah. So at least this takes on nine kilo, it will um, automatically load, weigh the load and reduce the uh, time needed to wash if needed. I think it's about an hour and a half roughly. 
Um, you can't have steam, but you can have extra rinses. So that's not bad. Oh, so variable spin as well. You got a thousand, fourteen hundred, no spin, four hundred and eight hundred options. Obviously goes to net fourteen. Then we've got cotton, also made for washing a full load of normally soiled laundry. Um, again, bit of a hit and miss of what timings are. I did a 90 cycle with what I thought was a full load with an extra rinse. It took just two hours, six, according to the time, but it took about three hours overall due to balancing and stuff like that. Um, I have done a 60 cycle as well. So an hour 20 with like a th two third of a load, so a bit all over the place, I suppose. Um, I think supposedly a full load on 60 should take around an hour 50, but who knows? We're gonna test it out on this load in a minute, uh, to show you. But this, uh, so we've got variable spin as well, max spin of 1400. We've got the steam which bangs that up to 90 straight away. Uh, you can't have steam on cold or any of the temperature by looks of things because if you try to adjust it, it's just going to knock it off. There, we've got extra rinses as well, up to three. Then we've got rinse, uh, rinse, uh, rinse and spin. I think it's two rinses and spin. But you can add, obviously, uh, extra rinses if you wish. If it's two rinses, final spin, which can also be up to 1400 for re-rinsing up to, you know, a full load of laundry. Then we've got spin and drain. Presets at 1000 for synthetics. Uh, you can up it to 1400 for cottons. Turn it off and you get drain only. Etc. Obviously no extra rinse, no steam. Yeah. So it's got a rather basic set of programs with this machine. A little bit of a letdown, considering that obviously the candy made one gives you far more uh, programs and options while we're on top of that as well. Um, yeah. Oh, also one last thing, we've got time delay. If it works. Oh, that's odd. It doesn't work on spin and drain. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Works. Works. Right, so this is a delay end and it goes all the way up to Wow, half an hour steps. Twenty-four hours. And that's delay end. So if we select it once, um, it will delay fifty minutes and then start the cycle. Gets a bit unusual here because it won't allow me to do it on eco, but it will allow me to do it on cotton twenty, and it will allow me to do it on normal cotton. It is odd how delay isn't on everything. You know, it will let me do it on synthetics and automatically goes to two and a half hours. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, really interesting. A delay start that won't work on spin, rinses, or eco 4060. Right. So we've got our detergent dispenser here, we've got the pre-wash which you're never going to use on this machine. We've got our fabric softener in the middle. Ah, oh, for cap Vico, we don't make a dent in it. Um, and then we've got 90ml powder there. <laughs> Look at that. This drawer is huge. 
and it's the same draw pretty much on all the machines. So imagine this one, so this is the 8 kilo, which is the smallest that they do. Look how big it is! It's huge! 90, so you reckon 180, 270. Got four, five hundred mil could go in there. The pre-wash could easily take 200, and I reckon that fabric softener can take 150. But of course, don't go beyond the flower here. Oh, also, this has auto off, so once she's not used it for a while, it will automatically go off. That includes at the end of the cycle as well. So, hour 21 yesterday for the 6th cycle, hour 16 today. Hmm.
Take a look there. Excellent. So, let's give this out to 10 then. Well, it's going to get about a seven and a half. It certainly does a lot better than the H-Wash Lite version of the same machine. But, this did cost more, and you'd get less programs. It's well built except for the actual buttons themselves. Very, very cheap, very tacky. But, they're responsive, they work well. Washing ability wise, it's very good. Rinsing is excellent, um, I noticed. And if you select something like 40, you're gonna get 40. Which is good. Spin performance is a hit and miss. I've not known it to limit the spin, but the 1400 spin at the end of most of the programs is a little short. It only spins at 1400 for, well, three minutes, um, just under that, which isn't particularly long. The whole entire spin is over and done with, like I said, it says, it says 10 minutes. Um, but realistically, it's actually even done within about seven. It's it's really quick, and that's one of the issues. Ste the steam button, don't know exactly what it does, um, but it doesn't adjust the time, and that's a bit of a concern. And on top of that, it only seems to take place on the maximum temperature of that cycle, even if it's 40. But then you can't change it to any other temperature. I do like the extra rinse button. My only other gripe is the cotton cycle. And this is a weird gripe, but it, they're too, it's too short. It's too short for a cotton cycle. The synthetic cycle, if you want a long cotton cycle, select synthetics. Which is a bit bizarre way of saying something, saying that. And it, it's not that much longer, the cotton cycle, than the 59 minute version of the cycle. Hmm. Yeah, so that's why it's getting seven and a half. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Uh, give us a comment as well if you like this machine, um, etc. And I'll see you in another video. So, bye for now.